Hey, what's going on guys? It is Seth here with the Cruising Classics YouTube channel showcasing this 1980 Shea Model A we just got in and we're listing for sale. Throughout this video, if you guys have any questions about this car, shipping, financing, whatever the case may be, feel free to give us a call at 614-276-7355. I do apologize for any wind noise in the background. You'll notice it's an overcast day here in Columbus, Ohio. So unfortunately there's going to be some wind noise. Let's go ahead and check out this Model A. If you're unfamiliar with these cars, Shea produced these with Ford Motor Company and was planning to make 10,000 of these cars, I believe, as well as the pickup versions and so forth. I do believe it was only four people that built these cars. So they are all hand assembled everything like that they did use a ford pinto drivetrain in these cars so you can tell it has a antique or classic look of a model a but it does have a modern drivetrain so you can drive this car anywhere you can see it's dressed in a yellowish cream color black over fenders and running boards really nice paint job on this car there is some flaws on the car You'll notice down here on the running board, there is small cracking right here and down here where I was pointing before. But the car does have gloss black wire mesh wheels, newer Firestone wide whites, does have disc brakes up front. Does have the classic headlights of a Model A, but they have been converted to work with the 12 volt system that's on this car does have working Uga horns. You guys can hear that. Top is in great shape. Does look like a small patch was done here. And there's a small flaw on the other side. I'll go ahead and point out. Just right here. But again, besides that, the top's in excellent shape. Still looks new. Again, really nice color on this car. Grabs ton of attention. You'll notice it does have a fully functional rumble seat in the back. If you guys want to pause the video right now, this is all the spare parts that will be included with the car, as well as receipts and documentation in that folder. The boot for the uh, top is located down here. If you'll notice, there's also Pioneer speakers located right there. Also a luggage rack on the back. And a little trunk there where the side curtains are located. that over for just a second and I will pull this down as mentioned before it does have a full Ford Pinto drivetrain in it four-speed manual transmission we'll go ahead and open up this side as well pretty tidy engine bay it's a little weird seeing one of those engines in this car. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. You'll notice it does have a vinyl black interior, bench seat. It does have a modern Pioneer stereo there. AM, FM, MP3, XM radio. Packs all the goodies. See your gauge cluster there. Has your fuel. Uh, level and mile per hour There's your bench seat we were talking about Really nice carpet does have tweeters located right there as well for the stereo Nice tall four-speed shifter e-brake handle down there in the bottom Seat belts as well front and rear We'll go ahead and grab the keys We'll step on the driver's side. It 
see a very nice door panel on this side as well. Let's go ahead and step inside. Go ahead and fire this thing up. See some lights do come on. It is a little bit chilly here in Columbus, Ohio, so it is a pretty much a cold start besides me pulling out of the building. See the odometer reads 6,668 miles. We'll go ahead and turn on our headlights, show you guys that the wipers are operational. Again, you guys saw the horns work. <coughs> Again, headlights are on. Let's go ahead and step out. Show you guys that it is running nice and smooth. This car is running on a 12 volt system. I believe I mentioned that, but in case I didn't, you can see your headlights are working. Really quiet engine. It's crazy, you can't even hear it running, really. Again, fully functional rumble seat with seat belts back here. But alrighty guys, I think if you guys have seen enough of it, let's go ahead and hop in this thing. We'll take it down the road, I'll give you guys my opinion. Alrighty guys, you can see we're taking the Shea Model A down the road. It's an extremely windy day here in Columbus, Ohio. But we're going to be taking it just down the road, show you guys that it does run and drive. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear me this test drive or not. So I'll try and speak up. But this is my first time driving this car and it drives really well actually. Shifts through all the gears like it should. you guys can't see this thing does run and drive it's a little bit chilly probably should have put the side curtains on but hey it is a blast to drive it's very smooth as well it handles all the Ohio speed bumps with no problem this brakes are nice and firm cruising about 50 miles an hour in fourth gear you can see it's driving really straight guys i'm gonna end the video here if you guys did enjoy it be sure to press that like button and subscribe button i really appreciate you guys always liking the videos it really helps us get out there uh, helps us sell more cars everything like that uh, but yeah appreciate y'all watching hopefully you guys enjoyed me freezing my butt off to drive this shay <laughs>
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.